डॉक्टर अनंत पंढरे मेडिकल डायरेक्टर डॉक्टर हेडगेवार हॉस्पिटल औरंगाबाद रन बाय डॉक्टर बाबा साहेब आंबेडकर वैद्यकीय प्रतिष्ठान इन इंडिया हेल्थ केयर वॉज मेजॉरिटीली बीन प्रोवाइडेड बाय चैरिटेबल हॉस्पिटल्स इन द पास्ट मोस्ट ऑफ द हॉस्पिटल्स वेर चैरिटेबल स्पॉन्सर्ड बाय और क्रिएटेड बाय वन और द अदर इंडस्ट्रियालिस्ट और बिजनेसमैन और राजा महाराजा एंड एंड दैट वॉज द नॉम इन दोज डेज बट इन लास्ट थर्टी ईयर्स और मोर देन थर्टी ईयर्स दिस सीनारियो हैज चेंज वॉट एज चेंज इज नॉट द पैटर्न ऑफ डोनेशन और पीपल वेदर दे डोनेट और नॉट दैट हैज नॉट चेंज इट इट्स फॉर्म हैज चेंज पीपल आर स्टिल डोनेटिंग रादर दे आर डोनेटिंग इन द लार्जर नंबर विद द सी एस आर मैंडेट now the amount of money that is available for health care and education in uh, charitable sector social sector has increased a lot but what is not changed or what is not improved is the people who can use it the dedicated class of society or the doctors the number has not increased in terms of th- these people if you say somebody set up a charitable hospital we don't find people with charitable mindset doctors with mind uh, charitable mindset who can run that hospital and there is a gap in that our education our system of education especially medical education and the environment around the ecosystem is taking us towards commercialization of medical education every doctor once he gets out of the medical education the first thought comes in his mind how will i sustain how much money i can earn and that's the major change which has happened in last 30 40 years it, it is a myth nowadays that charitable hospitals cannot sustain but if we see charitable hospitals can very well sustain if there are two three ingredients in that and the first and the foremost is society support is definitely needed there are people who wish to donate who wish to create hospitals but they need to find some credible organization or credible group of people and here the deficit or the trust deficit is there the credibility is established based on the values and persistent application of those values there sustainability is linked with value system or the values uh, we practice in medical field if we practice these values of ethics honesty and integrity in the medical field while treating a patient while offering him investigations i am sure that charitable hospitals can very well sustain yeah for this charitable hospitals to be sustainable there are certain challenges one has to overcome one has to look at the first and the foremost is the dedicated team of staff or doctors who are keen on serving the patients to have such doctors is uh, something which is needed for a charitable hospital to be sustainable second thing it it need to be well managed hospital you cannot afford to have a charitable hospital and ill manage that so to keep the cost un- in control management has to be very vigilant and the third and the foremost thing is society should come forward to in creation of such hospital or in financial support of these hospitals if these challenges are taken care it is very much possible that charitable hospitals become sustainable and that they can serve society in a better manner Dr Hedgevar Hospital in Aurangabad he started with a view that a common man should get a world class treatment at an affordable cost it was a very small venture in 1989 when we started with 10 beds 7 lakh rupees of investment and just 7 doctors and 10 more staff but it was the need of the hour and need of the society so society responded in a very efficient manner in a very profuse manner and we have to grow this hospital from 89 till today 
we have treated more than 70 lakh patients in this hospital in a very charitable manner, in a very world class treatment manner. From 89 it grew, in, in 93 it became a 50 bed hospital from 10 bed hospital. Immediately we started a blood bank which is a world class blood bank today in Aurangabad. And then hospital got a piece of land from government of Maharashtra to set a, to create a new building. Immediately in 2000, Hedgebar hospital become a 150 bed hospital, but keeping the denomination same. That means the class of patients which were coming to us were same, poor, urban poor, rural poor and unorganized sector those they cannot afford to take world class treatment outside, they, they are our clients even today. In, in 2000 we started 100, 150 bed hospital, in 2010 we started creating another uh, expansion of the hospital and now we are 300 bed hospital with all specialties under one roof with many super specialties as well. So this multi speciality hospital which started as a 10 bed hospital for the society is now treating more than 2.5 lakh patients every year out of which 80 to 85 percent patients are from rural or urban poor sector. They easily afford to come and take the advantage of this hospital and we are proud that this hospital can serve that class of society in a, in a world class manner with affordable treatment. This has inspired us to start another hospital. In 2008, we started Nashik Hospital, Sri Guruji Hospital in Nashik. And now, very soon, a big 300 bed hospital is coming up in the interiors of Assam, that is Shiv Sagar, Upper Assam, which will also serve the people of Assam in a very world class manner. In such charitable hospital, there are two major challenges. One is to keep the services affordable and second is to bring the quality in that care. Fortunately, we have been successful in bringing both together in this hospital. Affordability comes out of honest and ethical treatment. For that, our doctors are salaried, working on a subsistence salary enough for a middle class life. That is the main strength of this hospital. And for quality, society supports us and the kind of treatment we provide is based on world class equipments. For example, MRI, Philips MRI with 1.5 Tesla or we have 11 modular OTs, 67 patients in 11 different different ICUs. The complete hospital is uh, run with medical gas pipeline. It's completely software driven hospital. So everything is accounted in software. So this way we try to bring that kind of treatment which a common man cannot imagine at this cost. That has made this hospital unique in Maharashtra and all over the country. That is why quality affordability, if goes hand in hand, patients are benefited. Now after 33 years, our organization is in expansion mode. Dr. Hedgevar Hospital, which is 300 bed today, will be 600 bed in one year. Our Sri Guruji Hospital in Nashik will be a, having a 200 additional beds in next one year. Assam Hospital, which is supported by ONGC, will shortly open up as a 300 bed hospital in June. Not only that, we want to create that kind of medical doctors in the community who can follow this path and they will be the torch bearer in the next future. So we are starting a medical college campus institution very soon in Aurangabad, which will produce very uh, socially sensitive, excellent medical doctors who have compassion for the society. That is our future plan and for that society is coming forward we are seeking support from corporates and individuals and foundations which will go long way.